But it cuts, I already got a little bleeding. You might be able to see that, but it's focusing on the spot. All right, going in, whew. I was told by the doctor that they don't want to drain my knee. This is a result of a fall. There's a lot of fluid buildup in here. I'm losing sleep over this thing. They've got a big, yeah, 21 gauge. This thing's being stupid. 21, anyway, it's a 21 gauge. I'm gonna remove the needle of it and go in. Not just like this. I've got some preparatory pads and I'm very reluctant to do this. My fear is hitting something below but we've got a half inch. Maybe if it just starts flowing out, I'll stop pushing in. <whistles> All right, clean, clean apparatus. I haven't shot any uh, meth or anything with it. That's all I need. All I need is a miracle. I have no idea what's gonna happen, if anything. Very reluctant, but let's see what happens. Man, reluctant, but it cuts. I already got a little bleeding. Might be able to see that, it's focusing on the spot. All right, going in, whew. All right. Yep, and there it goes, it's draining. I guess it needed to happen. Really didn't hurt. That thing's just dripping like an IV. My wife turned 40, and we went to Las Vegas. This is the story of what happened. We went to Las Vegas to see Adele. Adele canceled. We just made the most of it. Went drinking, had some fun. No one got arrested or anything, but we had to help a friend back to the room. And in the process, my foot was stepped on and I fell. Now I was not, this is feeling better already. I was not uh, sober. So I was stepped on, fell pretty hard right here. Got a little rug burn through the jeans. After a while, as time went on, particularly the past couple of days, the swelling started being pushed to a more localized area, about a softball diameter sized area. It just started to really hurt. Just the pressure, it trying to compress and the fluid, obvious fluid, was resisting. Just needed to do this. And I'll tell you what, it is feeling a lot better already. Kind of ticks me off. The doctor said, no, I guess as long as I don't get an infection, I'll be all right. Cleaned everything, clean needle, double eye alcohol swab. Just let it drain. Get some close up on the drain action. It slowed down a little bit. I didn't get as low probably as I could have gotten, but I'll take half of what was in there compared to what was in there. I'm about to sleep like a baby tonight. This is definitely putting on a puddle. Let me see if I can get a shot of the puddle. It's a it's red and tint, but that's just fluid. I'm not bleeding out. It's draining. Draining the knee. I do not recommend this at all. We've got some friends that are doctors. I did not consult with them. I'm a very pragmatic person, meaning I'll take a very logical, this may not be wise. There was a problem, saw a solution, took action. I'm glad it's working. You could probably see how much I could push on my knee, how much fluid is in there still. Still draining. Probably should have timed. Let's see. Right now I've been recording for a little over 12 and a half minutes. Probably 10 minutes. 10 minute drain. There is still so much in there. Let's try pushing to see what happens. It expedites it. Sometimes pressure from long pants will create some pain. I have no idea what my wife is going to say about this. It's kind of funny how this is working though. But I guess not. Let's see. That's the tempo of the drip. I apply pressure. You can see it speed up. Do, can I emphasize enough? I do not recommend doing this. I just had the resources. I'm used to sticking myself. Amazing how psychological it was. It really did not hurt at all. It hurts more sticking myself in the ass than in this this did. Because of that numb feeling I've had, or the uh, fluid accumulation was, maybe that helped. I mean, I guess I probably could just stop now and let it take its course. I think I read that the you know, lymph node, the local lymph node, is what draws the fluid out of the swelled up area. It takes a long time. Look at this drainage path. See how far it's drained. I think I'm gonna run with this and see how it goes. Get you some detailed needle coming out. See if we get any post drip. I don't think we will. Oh, look at that. See if it comes out. Uh, I don't know. Holy cow. The pain I had before is gone. I felt like my skin was tearing right here. That's gone. Do I condone doing this? Absolutely not. Would I do it again? Absolutely. That feels so much better. I don't know if it looks any different than it did before. That's my knee now. I'll try to get a before and after shot of what it looked like when I started. There it is. That's what was in my knee that caused a lot of discomfort. So an update on the knee. Went to orthopedic surgeon. He pushed on the kneecap and asked if it hurt. Still has mild pain. We are over a month past the injury. There was significant swelling. That was about all he did. Pushed a little bit on the swollen part. He didn't say anything about draining, but I told him I, I admitted to draining it twice. I did drain it again after what I showed you earlier in the video. And he recommended not doing that, as everybody else has recommended not doing that. Not so much for the sake of draining it, because I'll pull this thing off. Actually, it's probably the best the knees looked. If I could show you the other knee, that's the difference between the two. It's not as bad, but you could see a little less definition right here. Can't tell from the 
camera angle, but if my knee flares out there where it's flat here. He said with the draining, I was draining it probably around here, if I remember. And he said, particularly with a big of a gauge of needle I was using, I was using a 21 gauge. When you pull it out, it could create a sinus. The fluid in here is really thin. It's not a thick fluid, it's a thinner fluid. It'll seep from where the needle was. He said bacteria could get in through there. Fluid gets out, but it leaves a hole for bacteria to get in. You get bacteria in your knee, you're in a world of hurt. You could probably end up with no knee at all, having to get your leg amputated. I imagine that's the worst thing that could happen. I think I got lucky, but I still do not recommend doing what I did. Did it feel a lot better after draining it? Absolutely. But the risk to reward, if you want to get the swelling down, get the fluid out of there, use one of these. I'll put a link in the description. I recommend it. Get one of these wraps. This is a Ninka. Nin Ninka. Knee brace. Ninka. If you can't remember, then like and subscribe before you forget. See ya.